Hey guys, uh, Fru here. Welcome to the channel. One of the common questions I get typically is the difference between OpenAI Codex and the GPT Copilot. So for a lot of people who hear about OpenAI, uh, you might hear about the Codex model has been released. You might hear about uh, GitHub uh, Copilot, which was released uh, a couple of months ago. And there's always a question of, is it the same product? How different are they? So what we're going to do in this quick video is to go through the differences. Uh, so OpenAI is a company uh, that uh, builds a lot of uh, generalized uh, pre-trained models. So this is the GPT uh, model. So there's GPT-1, there's GPT-2, and there's GPT-3, which is the latest one trained on billions and billions of uh, parameters. Now, the GPT model is uh, available out there. It's really geared for... Uh, general natural language processing. So what OpenAI did was they trained a specific subset of the model for coding, for code. So they went to GitHub and they trained a bunch of that model uh, looking at the code for GitHub uh, to specifically generate a code in different uh, languages. So that's where you have the... Uh, the open AI uh, codex model coming into play. So when GPT-3 trained that on the code on GitHub, they created this codex model. So that's part of open AI. Now, codex model, if you think about it, is like the engine. So this is what actually does the translation. When you go into the playground into in open AI and you submit code into that playground and you get a result, you're directly interacting with this pre-trained model. So the GPT uh, model, which is specifically trained on code. Now, how is that different from Copilot? So Copilot, if you think about it, is a service that taps into that GPT-3 uh, or Codex model, and it helps you uh, code better and faster in uh, Visual Studio Code, which is owned by uh, Microsoft, open source. So uh, uh, GitHub Copilot has a bunch of services that interact directly with Visual Studio Code. So you get a, a, an extension or a plugin in Visual Studio Code natively within that IDE. So if you are coding as a developer, if you're using Visual Studio Code in that IDE in the interface, uh, you have that extension. Directly there, you can get the code completion. You can get um, access to basically all of the codex functionality, but right within the interface of uh, the Visual Studio Code environment. So in here you have, it provides editor context, it provides suggestions and it improves that suggestions. Code completion, and there's a lot of things that it does here when you're working with GitHub Copilot. So if you're working with GitHub Copilot, you're basically within Visual Studio Code and this is the environment where you're working. Now, it still uses the codex model. So it's not a different model. It's still using the codex model. So think about it as an abstraction on top of the codem, uh, codex model to make it easy for interacting with uh, within Visual Studio Code. So that's basically what GitHub Copilot is. Now, you can interact with open uh, AI codex without the Visual Studio Code plugin. You certainly can do it. And a lot of people have done demonstrations. So if you go to the uh, um, Open AI, you go to their sandbox, they have a sandbox, you can directly write code and you can see results. That is, at that point, you're interacting directly with the Open AI model. Now, if you don't have privilege to get access to that and you have the extension in Visual Studio Code, then you can go ahead and have the same service from Visual Studio Code. But all of it is still using the same engine behind the scenes. So, Open AI Codex, so the Codex part of it is the engine. That's the engine that does it, the, the, the GPT engine behind the scenes uh, for coding. And think about Copilot as an abstraction or a, a UI or a service on top of that to externalize that engine into a platform or into an IDE like uh, Visual Studio Code. So extremely relevant. Now, a, a quick example I would give here is if you think about a service, and for folks that might be familiar with this, uh, we know Google Translate is a, is a service, just an analogy, just to hit the point home here. Uh, so you can come into Google Translate. They have an engine that can take one language, A, and it can translate it to another language, B. So you can take English and translate it to Spanish. You can take Spanish, translate it to Arabic. Google Translate's engine does that. Now, 
this would be if we're going to use this as an analogy just again this is just for the sake of uh, analogy this would be the codex model doing the translation now if you go to a website like this uh, where uh, this is google in french so the website displays in french you can use this service here that google has to translate that website uh, into english so you can use that service this service right here to translate the website into english now, if you use the service and you translate the website into in uh, into English, this is analogous to using um, to using the GitHub Copilot, right? So this is a service that is built on top of Google Translate. So this is an abstraction on top of the Google Translate engine. So just to bring this back home, uh, OpenAI here is the translation engine. The OpenAI Codex is a translation engine. And then a service like uh, GitHub Copilot is built on top of that translation engine. So it's built on top of this engine. Now, you can have people that build their own services on top of the engine. So there are people who are building applications. There are people who are building websites. There are people who are building APIs directly on top of this engine without going through Copilot. So depending on your use case, uh, if you're just a pure developer and you're writing code in Visual Studio Code, sure go ahead and use this uh, extension because it makes that easy but if you're trying to do app development uh, where the ide doesn't really matter to you now you can directly write your own code to talk to that engine using its apis so hopefully this gives us that idea between open ai codex and github copilot again thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful uh, this is fro you've been awesome tech with fro signing out